Poor Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, your ears are mighty long. Yes, let's gather, put on wrong. Every little soul must shine, shine. Every little soul must shine, shine. This is delicious. Mm, can you taste the celery? Celery, onions, cumin, ancho chilies. Ancho chilies. <laughs> mm -hmm. When are you gonna make that amazing braised squirrel again? The next time you run one over. <laughs> Check this out. They'll do a tree. Mm. What's it about? Racism equals pride in your Aryan culture. Are they complaining? <laughs> I don't even get the connection. Remind me why we did this again. To protect the park from the people and the people from the park. Mm. And the people from the people. How are you liking law enforcement? <laughs> Not. Mm. 12 weeks of training over the winter. I can't get used to carrying a firearm. I've written a few citations. It wasn't fun. And people treat me differently. Good career, Mrs. Bell. Mm. So they say. I have gotten a pay raise, so there is that. A degree in resource management wasn't enough to make a living wage. So what's the buzz about the state shutdown over the budget? I'm not sure what the latest is. But we'll find out soon. They have to make a deal by midnight tomorrow. I just, I can't support the government keeping people out of parks that Americans own. Hmm. Who took it from the Sioux? Touche. <laughs> Are you Sioux? My dad. Huh. Lakota. Mm. My mom's a pale face from Moab. They married after he got back from Vietnam. And... They're still married. I'm not sure why, but they are. Big weekend coming up. Yep, you going back to the lookout? After the meeting. Not a bad gig. Best job in the world. Mm. I just caught a guy digging in the Thunderbird effigy mound. This early? Quite the industrious trespasser. Looter. He had a pointing trowel, brushes, mesh sieve, and a rock pick, which I confiscated. I'm texting you his mugshot, license, and vehicle tag. You let him go? With a citation. What is up with people these days? I think you can just take what doesn't belong to you. Finders Keepers has a long history in this country. What is this? Lemonade? River water. That can't be good. It's not. 
I need my coffee. I unlocked the door. All right, I'll make the coffee. My turn. I'm so embarrassed. What for? Claustrophobia. I, I, I can't control it. We've all got our demons. It's okay. You're safe. I'm afraid it was me. I, I didn't know you were in there. Forgive me. Morning, everyone. Let me start by introducing you to Hannah Bachmeyer. Hannah comes to us from Michigan. We're lucky to have her for the rest of the summer season. Hannah will have a thankless job of working the entrance station. Happy to be here. I, I love the Driftless area, and this is my first gig as an actual ranger. You'll fit right in, Hannah. Cody and Nova here are full-time law enforcement rangers. Nova just got her certification. <laughs> Sherman does history and cultural talks here at the visitor center, and this scraggly creature is Theo, who's stationed up at the cabin in the back country. He comes down every few days. We feed and water him and send him right back. I am the freak on the pee. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard, Hannah. Thanks. You do law enforcement way up there? No, I'm not trained for all that. I'm just a seasonal, like you and me. Cody and Nova do all the law enforcement around here. They keep the park safe year round. Is there a lot of that crime? We do have larcenies here. We do have burglaries here. We do have assaults on people. We do have people driving under the influence of alcohol and other things. Fortunately, though, we have not had anything much worse happen in this park. I started as an environmental scientist for the EPA. Got my first job as a ranger in the San Bernardino National Forest. They gave me a gun. I kept it underneath the seat of the car in a bath towel. You know, keep the dust out. <laughs> I was instructed to do my law enforcement by bluff. <laughs> you should be able to use the uniform, the badge, the flat hat, the whole ranger image as it's called. You should be able to do a lot with that. But it's the person who wears it. Nova has an almost mystical skill for de-escalation. <laughs> I just love people. And the majority of the visitors here are lovely human beings. So I practice what I call ranger law enforcement. I just love people too, but there's no such thing. We have the same training as police do, and we have the same authority in this park. Now, Fourth of July weekend is the worst. This job becomes people management, not resource management. Nova, go with Hannah today. Show her the ropes at the entrance, then make your rounds. You got it. Okay, folks. Let the holiday weekend begin. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> you prefer Native American or American Indian? Neither. I don't identify as an American. I'm a member of the Ojibwe Nation on lands occupied by the United States. So I guess you don't celebrate the 4th of July. The Declaration of Independence describes my people as merciless Indian savages. So, not so much. Bye, dude. Let's see you kids around sometime. Yeah, have fun up there. He's funny, I like him. <laughs> Theo's great. Cody's kind of intense. 
Yeah, Cody's been here the longest, but he's good at everything. Patrol, investigation, firefighting, search and rescue. He is like the perfect ranger that all of us want to be. <laughs> the late woodland period, thousands of years ago, was when construction on these mounds began. Mounds of earth in the shapes of birds, bear, deer, lynx, turtle, bison, and panther are some of the more common images. Are you an Indian? Shh. You can call me that. You could call me Ojibwe. Ojibwe? Or Chippewa. Chippewa? That's right. And what do we call you? Jimmy. Okay, Ranger Jimmy, you want to see some arrowheads? Heck yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Driftless State Park. Entrance fee is $10. Are there any bears? No, ma'am, no bears, but we do have raccoons and other critters, so make sure to put your food away at night. Do you sell raccoon hats? <laughs> Sorry, no raccoon hats. Oh, no raccoon hats. Are there going to be any fireworks? Absolutely no fireworks allowed anywhere in the park. Where's the Driftless area? It's all around you. I'll find it. Oh, we're going backpacking. Where do we park? There's a parking lot up at the trailhead. You can pick up a backcountry permit at the ranger station. You need a permit? Oops. Yep, I hear they're going pretty fast. Is there Wi-Fi? No Wi-Fi. It's hard to even get a phone signal. Good. It's a rangerette, dude. <laughs> All right, chill, chill, dude. <laughs> dude, she's hot. Stop. Ten dollars, please. Oh, yeah. Hey, do you have a boyfriend? There you go. You want a boyfriend? I'm, I'm so sorry, just <laughs> ignore him. <laughs> Smells like the party already started. Hell yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Driftless State Park. The endangered white race is going to reclaim our ancestral homeland. Your ancestral homeland? The Germans settled this whole area. And before that? Before that doesn't matter. Hoping on us. Gee, I've never heard that one before. You know, there's a really beautiful trail right next to the lake. You should try it. It might do Occupy! They didn't pay! I'll catch up to them sooner or later. They'll be easy to find. You shouldn't be wearing that shirt in America. Well, actually, the United States owns Puerto Rico, so we're part of America. We don't own Puerto Rico, Chiquita. We protect Puerto Rico. So what's your point? Well, what's your point, sir? Why are you wearing that shirt? Because I can. This is America. Yes, exactly. The land of the free. You can't change this, you know that. Can you get away from me, sir? Jesus, I'm not trying to change anyone. I'm just camping out here. Are you a United States citizen? Yes, I am. You should be wearing a United States flag. Why are you wearing that piece of shit? Hey, Ranger, uh, this man is harassing me. Sir, you need to go back to your campsite, please. I only want to know if she's a United States citizen. Why are you being so obstinate, sir? Are you a United States citizen? It's a lovely day. Enjoy the park and don't bother your neighbors. I am so sorry about that. I don't feel comfortable with him here. Are you camping alone? No, I have friends coming. They should be here in an hour. He won't bother you after that. It's my birthday weekend. Fun. I was born on the 4th of July. Wonderful. Look, most of the campers here are good people. So don't worry and have a good time in this fabulous park. Mm. Feliz cumpleaños. Thank you. Hi. Do you know what the weather forecast is like this week? Yeah, it's going to be beautiful sunny skies, a chance of rain later on this week, but you're still going to love it. Where are you from? I'm from France, but I live in England. That's fantastic. Well, welcome to Driftless. Thank you. Hey, Trooper. Uh, you got a second? Uh, they're smoking marijuana over there. It's Ranger Nut Trooper, and they have a camping permit. Yeah, they don't have a permit to smoke pot. Well, there's not much I can do. You can enforce the law. I mean, there's kids right there. Look at them. All right, listen. I mean, you can arrest me if you want to, but I'm not going to tolerate you just, like, not doing anything. I'm not going to arrest you, and I'm not going to arrest them. 
then. Is there a supervisor or someone you can call over? Is that necessary? Feels necessary. Okay. 146, you there? What's up, little sister? I am so sorry I had to drag you out here for this. Don't worry about it, what's up? You're gonna find out really quickly. Ranger Carson, this gentleman wants a word with you. Howdy, sir. Hi, uh, yeah, I don't know if you know, but they're, they're smoking marijuana over there. Yeah, we're aware there's some herbal activity going on over there. Okay, so are you gonna enforce the law? Well, we don't have the resources to handle that right now. Wouldn't you agree, Ranger Abby? This is relatively inconsequential behavior. I do agree. You could, uh, like, revoke their camping permit? Yeah, we could, but it would be an officer safety issue at that point. Would it be an officer safety issue? You don't think you could take them? Look at them. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, uh, what's your name, may I ask? Cody Carson. Yours? My, well, mine's on my registration, right? I can't believe it. Thank you, have a good weekend, sir. Thank you for handling that so graciously. Now what? Go. Are you okay? He tried to take the baby. Who did? My druggy boyfriend. I told him it was over between us and he tried to take the baby. Where is he? He ran off. You want me to call an ambo? The baby's okay, right? Uh, I, th I think so. He ran into the brush down there. There he is. Hey. Hey, 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 hold it there a minute, sir. Put your hands up nice and slow. Bitch, you ain't gonna take our baby. Hold I it. told you if I ever saw you shoot up again. Calm down, ma'am, the baby. Uh, don't tell me to calm down. All right, turn around. Hands behind your head and lace your fingers. Where's your legs? You got anything in your pockets that's gonna poke me? All right, follow me. I want a restraining order against him. You wanna file a formal complaint? Yes, I would. You got it, we'll be right back. That door open. You got it. Alright. Head down. There you go. You can cool off here in the back seat until we get things sorted out. Enjoy the AC. I'm gonna go talk to those neighbors. You keep an eye on him, will ya? Hey folks. Had a slight incident, nothing to worry about. We'll be out of here very soon. Cody! Yeah. Come take a look at this. What's up? <sighs> He's faking it, don't you think? You can't fake blue. No, he's faking it. He's not breathing. Shit. His heart's beating him. Narcan. Sorry, I doubted you. Apology accepted. Nice work. Is that your first time saving someone's life? I think so. Yeah. Feeling good, right? Hi there. <laughs> Do you still want to file that report? I guess not. Are you sure? We can still take him in. Yeah, I'll be okay. He loves the baby. Should we call the paramedics and take him to the hospital? Uh, no, that'll just make things worse. He'll end up in the psych ward. <coughs> oh, believe me. 
It's a way of life. A relapse is all part of recovery, he just keeps telling me. In a few days, he'll be all peaches and cream. Baby's fine. He just scared her is all. We'll be okay. Hello, ladies. Hey. <laughs> ranger. Uh, yeah, sorry. She's never seen a ranger before. Uh, Might I take a peek at your backcountry permit? Um, we actually, we tried to get one, but they were all sold out. Hmm. Well, we do try to limit the number of permits so that, you know, it doesn't get too crowded out here. We yeah. haven't seen a soul. How many nights are you planning on staying? Four. Um, we have plenty of food, water, sunscreen, camp stove. We've been planning this trip for a month. But you forgot to plan for a permit. <laughs> please don't kick us out. Pretty please. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, just remember, leave no trace, pack out all your trash. Can I trust you? Yeah, we, we promise. Maybe I'll see you around this weekend. I'll be staying at a cabin about three miles up the trail. Thank you so much. Of course. Theo. Meg. Margo. <laughs> um, no dangerous animals, right? No, but watch out for ticks. Mm. How do we do that? We brought some DEET, right? Um, oh. Repellent. Stay on the main trail so that you don't brush up against any long grasses, uh, long pants, long sleeves, and light colors, not dark. So I guess you're good to go then. Stay safe. Ugh. See ya. <clears throat> oh, I go camping all the time. It's so easy and fun. I got the test results back on a water sample. Heavy metal contamination, many times higher than state standards. Do we know where from? Frack sand mine. Fracking? No, frack sand mine, just north of here. Call it industrial sand. Fracking involves drilling deep into underground rock formations to release natural gas or oil. And we need sand to make it happen. But not just any sand to do the trick. Highly pure silica sand, like we have just north of the park, is especially strong and close to the surface, so digging it up is relatively easy. And profitable. Yeah, extremely. What do we do? I'm going to the Capitol today to meet with the DNR secretary. I can talk to her before the budget deadline tonight. Maybe they can use this info to hire a bigger staff. More scientists, more wardens, do more testing. Can you hold down the fort? What do I have to do? Nothing. Just go about your regular work. But if something unexpected comes up, you're the point person. Cover for me or call me. I'll be back late tonight. Okay. paid for this test yourself. Why would you do that? I've been noticing dead fish, waterfowl. Then I found a whole family of dead deer by the drainage. They didn't die of natural causes. Are you a veterinarian? <laughs> With all due respect, Miss Secretary, your background is construction. I'm an environmental scientist. The sand mining company is supposed to do its own tests, but it doesn't. Based on that report, the company is going to be looking at some big finds. We're not going to find them. Why not? This test doesn't prove where the contamination is coming from. But we all know it's five miles upriver. Just don't go around making irresponsible accusations. I'll talk to them about it. And what will you say? No need for impertinence, Superintendent. Can't you use this data to get more money for our scientists on the ground? I'll level with you. The state is trying to encourage business, not discourage okay, it. Okay, but can we not contaminate the groundwater in the process? 
I mean, isn't that part of what the DNR is supposed to be Look, doing? we're fighting just to keep the current budget. The legislature would like to cut all money from the parks and make them run solely on entrance fees. Well, there's no way. Impossible. So maybe we raise the entrance fees? that are privatized the parks. What about the fact that the Driftless has a handful of endangered species that relies on that groundwater? The, the Iowa Pleistocene snail, the, the, the Higgins Eye Pearly Mussel, the Butler's Garter Snake. You saw my memo about that? Yeah, I read it. And frankly, Superintendent, I would knock off writing those memos. Snails and snakes in air and water don't pay taxes, and they don't sign our paychecks. We're paid to protect the natural resources. Is that what you But then you don't let us do our jobs. Frustrating, isn't it? License and registration, please. What's the charge? You guys ran the entrance without paying. How much is it? Ten dollars. Don't spend it all in one place. You aware that your brake light is out? Is it? I should write you a citation, but I'll give you a warning if you promise to take care of it. You can't intimidate me, Pocahontas. Hank, don't. Okay then. Citation it is. One four nine, do you copy? Go on, Cody. Party's over. Government shutdown. Need to clear the park by midnight. Seriously? I'll get the entrance. You want to break the bad news to the campers? Copy that. Meet me when you can. Today's your lucky day. No fee and no ticket. But I do need to inform you that there's been a statewide government shutdown, so you guys need to exit the same way you came in. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. The Driftless area consists of 24,000 square miles, and it covers the four corners of Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, and Minnesota. Yeah, sorry, cut out. Signal up here sucks. Can you repeat? They couldn't reach a budget deal at the Capitol. Government shutdown, all state parks closed, essential personnel only. Crap. Our park was carved out of land that was once owned by indigenous tribes like the Sioux and the Ho-Chunk, more commonly known today as the Winnebago. Yeah, Winnebago. Yeah, one of those. Right. In fact, many of America's great national do parks. Do. But do me a favor. Let the backpackers know out there that um, the park is closed. If anything happens, there's no rangers around to help them. Taken from our native communities by the United States government. Yeah, but, but weren't the Indians, you know, like attacking and, and killing the, you know, the, the settlers? Self-defense. Before Columbus arrived here, there were 10 million indigenous peoples already living in North America. By the end of the 19th century, there were fewer than 300,000. Sounds like genocide on native peoples, doesn't it? Sorry to interrupt. Excuse me. I, I'm afraid I have some bad news. We're closing the park now due to a statewide government shutdown. What? Oh, really? Are you serious? I'm sorry that we have to do this. We really didn't want to, but our lawmakers have not been able to reach a budget agreement. Sorry to ruin your plans, folks, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. We have to clear the park. Where's Morgan? He had a meeting with DNR. He'll be back tonight. You went a tad bit off script there, didn't you? They asked. I wasn't going to lie. OK. But they are on vacation. I don't think they need to be worried about massacres and genocide from 150 years ago. Should I talk about today instead? Well, Pipelines are being built on indigenous lands. Resources are being extracted. Indigenous women are being raped and murdered, and the water on the res is being poisoned, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Oh, you're right. You're right. We may work for the colonizers, but we don't forget who we are. 
Want me to lock up? I'll take care of it. You might as well go home. The F word. Burlow. Hello, sir. Howdy. Can I take a gander at your backcountry permit? Uh, here. Thanks. You camping alone? Yep. We always recommend hiking with a friend in case, you know, you twist an ankle or something. I'll be all right. I know every nook and cranny of this area. Mm, OK. But I do need to let you know, there's been a government shutdown, so the park's officially closed. You can stay if you like, but the rangers won't be around to help you if you get into trouble. No rangers? Afraid not. They're sending us home. <sighs> I'll keep us safe. I got this. Assume you've got a license for that? Of course. All right, well, there's no need for it now, is there? What's the Boy Scout motto? Be prepared. Get your merit badge and handguns? Citizenship and Indian lore. Fun. All right, well, don't use it to kill ticks. Or you might hurt yourself. It's supposed to be funny. You're uh, going the wrong way if you're going off duty. You're right. Got some things I need to pick up at the ranger station. I'll see you on my way back down, huh? Government shut down. That's like a short first day for you, I'm afraid, Hannah. You are officially on furlough. You can go on home. We'll be in touch as soon as it's over. Government shutdown. We're being forced to close because they couldn't pass the budget in time. So everything inside is closed. The parking lots, visitor center, bathroom, everything inside. All the state parks. I am really sorry about that, sir. Well, can I walk in? You choose to walk in, you do so knowing that risk. There is no services provided. No toilets, no phones, no water, no ranger program. You're telling me it's closed because of the stupid budget? That's stupid. Real sorry about that. You have a good day, okay? Thank you. Get your license plate taken care of. Hi. Hi. Did you hear the announcement about the park closing? Oh, I can't just pack up and go. My boyfriend left with the car. Is he coming back? Uh, he went to score some more dope. I should have listened to you. Maybe he is a hopeless case. No, we'll, we'll work this out. Just hang out for a bit. Do you need anything? We could use some water. Put down the gun! Hey, don't worry, I'm not gonna shoot anybody. Put down the gun now! I have a license. I'm just trying to celebrate the 4th of July before you kick us out. Put it down, or I will have to arrest you. That's not gonna happen. Gun down, hands up! Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're just flanks, okay? Let me see your ID nice and slow. Slow. Discharging a firearm in a state park is illegal. It doesn't matter if it's bullets or blanks. Their family's here. I'm writing you a citation. What the hell's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? What's the matter with you closing the park on the 4th of July? That's unpatriotic. I didn't close the park, sir. Your governor did. Why don't you take it up with him after you show up in court? And you put that gun away, sir. If I see it again, you're going to jail. You understand me? You OK? Yeah. You should have drawn on him. Standard procedure in this situation. I'm not going to shoot someone who's firing in the air. He's waving a gun around, Nova. There are campers everywhere. What the hell? There were blanks. You didn't know that. Uh, 
Okay, I just got to the cabin. I need to caulk the windows, spread line the pit toilet. I gotta get rid of the poison ivy. Plus, I gotta get my stuff out and think the shutdown's gonna last a while. Hello? Nova? Yeah. Hey, sorry. The signal up here sucks. I'll pack out and head back down tomorrow. Hello? What the hell? The shitheads. I ran into a couple of them earlier. You mean skinheads? What did I say? Shitheads. Some div. Howdy, folks. This park is closed. All state parks are closed. That means you're off duty. No, sir, we're on duty, but the bathrooms have been locked up, the water's been shut off, and there is no trash collection. Y'all are gonna have to put out your fires, pack up your gear, and get out pronto. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. We're taking back our homeland. It's been our land since 1848, and we're gonna take it back for our people. You need a history lesson. You lost the war, Pocahontas. <laughs> get over it. Man, we're not gonna argue with you. The park? It's closed. It's time to go. Let's go. You know what? You're a race trader. You work for the government, let the Jews control the banks? Made against your own race? You know who I mate with, sir? What is up with you, chum? Why are you so hateful? This movement, it's not about hate. We're proud of our culture, and we're trying to survive in an area where our race is being stomped out. White lives matter. Mm -hmm. This movement, it's all about love. Can you explain what you mean by love? I'll explain it so even Smokey the Bear can understand it. <laughs> <laughs> the white race is an endangered species, and we're going to preserve it. Yeah. Not endangered. 60% of Americans are white. Should be 100. Yeah. OK. When we get back here in the morning, you all better be gone, or you're going to be arrested. Oh, yeah. And watch out for ticks. Ticks? Yeah, ticks. They could be deadly. They're little bugs. They burrow underneath your skin. And if they have Lyme disease, you're going to get a rash and then fever and a whole lot worse. Have a good night. Don't fuck that Indian girl. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep your race pure. Don't bother. Are you trying to intimidate me? Ow! Damn it! I could sue you for that! Ow. I don't know. I'd say she just prevented you from six months in a county jail for assaulting a peace officer. Shut up. Score one for Pocahontas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll be here. Thanks. <sighs> Cody, I'm sorry about last night. I should have never provoked that guy. I was up most of the night thinking about it. Yeah, we got bigger fish to fry. It's been a couple deaths. I don't know. The skinheads? No, they cleared out in the middle of the night. Who? 
I'm waiting on an ambulance. You go ahead and make the rounds. I got it covered. Okay. Where are the bodies? By the river. What's the scoop? Not pretty. I mean, what are the details? Murder, maybe. Drowning, terrible. I don't know, we need more info. Jesus. Yeah. Who are the victims? Cody, I'm your partner. Talk to me. A woman and her baby. Might have been strangled. Looked blue, a lack of oxygen somehow. The baby drowned. The addict. He killed his girlfriend and drowned their baby? We don't know that for sure. We need to find him first. I should have let him die. They'd still be alive. Why did I let them die? You did what we're trained to do. We don't let people die if we can help it. I want to see them. Trust me. Nova. Go home. The park is closed. There's nothing to be done. Look, Pete, go get some rest. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Cruel, racist, sexist, offensive, hateful, mean-spirited, baby killers. There have always been dark horses, and there always will be. Remember the history of our indigenous nations. Egocentric Americans nearly destroyed our culture. Americans. My mother's a Mormon. My father fought for America and Vietnam. The war destroyed him. But he always said, we are Lakota. We are American. You are all your relatives, and all your relatives are you. My father would lock me in his shed every time he was drunk. And he was always drunk. That's not who I want to be. You have become a person of great compassion, Nova. And I see that in the way you treat people. Giwi Dukaj, you help people. I've lost faith in them. In people, this country, myself. I can't do this job and be who I want to be. I'm simply not good at it. But you are. I don't know where to go. What my purpose is. You should slow down a little bit. It eases the stress. Gira Tion Paganos, you are a special person, and you're just trying to find your place in the world. Be kind to yourself. Show yourself the same love, compassion, and pity that you show others. I don't know how to do that. Remember the teachings of our ancestors. Peace, balance, virtue. Honesty, righteousness, humility, courage and strength of the heart, intelligence. That's a lot to learn. Do you remember why you wanted to be a ranger? The land, the 
trees, the river, we're an extension of that. We're connected. We're just as much a part of the forest as the forest is a part of us. And I wanted to share that joy with them, but they're blind and deaf to it. Just staring into their phones, earbuds, impenetrable. They've severed their connection to the earth. They litter, they stomp on wild flowers, they rob our sacred graves. And when I see this, I feel something that I've never felt before. Contempt for them and it shakes me. I feel ashamed to feel that. How, how am I supposed to care for them, protect them? Are they even worth caring for? Of course they are. I know that. But they make it really hard. Gia. Tia Eminem. Gia Y Eminem. I value you. I believe in you. I'm happy you are here. Evening, ladies. Jesus, Ranger, you scared the shit out of me. You know, fire's illegal in the backcountry. We didn't know that. I mean, a fire's such a nice part of camping. Uh, but we can put it out if it's a big deal. It's a big deal. You don't care about anything but yourself, do you? Let me see your permit. Um, yeah, you see, the thing about that is uh, we tried to get one, but they were all sold out. Can't stay here. Park's closed. It's a government shutdown. The, the other ranger said that we could stay. What other ranger? Cute, skinny guy, Theo. He's he's staying at the cabin. That's where I'm staying. There are no other rangers there. You're gonna have to pack up and go. Seriously? I mean, can't you just let us stay? We'll we'll leave in the morning. I mean, you don't really want us to walk down the trail at night, do you? You are ruining the resource. Hey, we're not ruining anything. Pack up, or I will take you to jail. Jail? Why are you being such an asshole? We're not gonna leave till the morning. What are you doing? I'm taking her to jail, and if you're still here when I get back, you're going to. Like her, go, Argo! Oh my God, what the hell are you doing? Hey, what the hell is the problem with you? Slow down. Wait, who took your sister? The, the, the big ranger. Wait, what other ranger? He, he was wearing a hat. He, he, he said he was a park ranger. Oh, he's no ranger. Look, Margot, right? When did this happen? Look, last night, he, he, he took Meg, and then I had to wait till daylight to find the trail. And Okay, look, sit down. Drink some water. All right, we're going to find your sister, okay? We're going to get Meg. Are you... How are you? I've been better. I could use some aspirin. Gonna go up there like that? Plain clothes. So he doesn't run? Or shoot me. <sighs> Theo brought the other girl down. She's gonna be okay. Except for a couple bruises. She's worried about her sister, of course. Which is where you come in. Now we know who this guy is based on her description of him. Theo met him earlier on the trail. He calls himself Red West. He's a survivalist and a fugitive. He knows his way around the woods. He's been stealing from vacant cabins and closed doors. And he's got Theo's hat. I know. 
Now, there is an unsolved murder of a camper a couple years ago. Some people think he committed. They can never make it sick, but you got to be extra careful up there, okay? Got your gear. Good. Now, I'm not crazy about splitting up, but they've got a lead on that drug addict. They found his car just outside the park. That monster. What's going on with the mother and the child? Uh, their bodies went to the medical examiner. What is going on in this park, Cody? I don't know. You have to find him. I will. Okay. I'm gonna catch up with you after we check out the car. Keep your radio on. And remember, you're looking for a ranger. Hey, Cody, what's up? Found the car, crashed into a tree, broken windshield, blood all over the place. Where are you? The ravines. It's quiet. Be in touch if you see anything suspicious. I can circle back and be there in 20. Roger that. Cody, do you copy? What's up, Nova? Do you remember that old hunting shack in the backwoods? Yeah, decrepit, infested with mice. He's here. I think she might be inside. I'm going in. On my way. Ranger, my name's Nova. What's yours? Meg McKinley. Uh, where is he? Where's the crazy ranger? He's not a ranger, but whoever he is, he's hanging oh, right yeah. now. Oh, 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 are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think so. Um, is Margo okay? Oh, she's, she's fine. She's safe. Okay. Oh, Lord. are you okay? No, I can't. I can't breathe. Okay. Um. Oh, Mr. Robin. Mr. Hey, Robin. I sang that song in, in preschool. Mr. Robin, Mr. Robin, you're so mighty thin. Yes, let's have the sweet evening. Every little soul must shine, shine. Hey, hey, how about we get out of here, okay? Yeah, you hey. going to go? No, 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 no. Come on, we can do this. Come on, you can. Come on, come on. Phone a friend, huh? Two jailbirds are better than one, huh? Yeah. Now you have to serve a little more time. I'm thinking a day or two. I'll teach you. Move. 
What is that? Walkie-talkie. It's just my friend. He's probably wondering where I am. Let me see it. It's a police radio. Hands up. You know, it's against the law to draw a weapon on a park ranger. I am a park ranger, and you are under arrest, you son of a bitch. You're a ranger. Where's your badge? Oh. Fuck you, asshole. You're not gonna shoot. Stop! Shoot him! He's getting away! <laughs> There he is, there he is! No, that's Cody, that's one of the good guys. Nova! I'm dying. Not here, you're not. Maybe in prison. Maybe with a missing leg. <laughs> but you're not gonna die today. Why are you even why are you even helping him? Because we don't let people die if we can help it. Suspect in custody, we need helicopter assistance stat. Hey, you know, thanks for coming. And congratulations. Mm -hmm. That was some brave work. Paper's gonna do a story on you. Thanks. I've never had to shoot a guy before. And I hope I never have to again. So what's up? About the contaminated water. The DNR brushed it off. The mining company might get its hands slapped is all. Figures. But it gets worse. They're gonna scratch all five of our endangered species from the list. Why would they do that? The real reason? So the mine can expand this way and not violate any laws. They reached a budget deal in the capital, but state parks got lots of cuts. Again, how do they propose to do that this time? In our case, by eliminating me. What? This is my last season. I got my pink slip here until Labor Day. There must be other ways to cut the budget. Why you? Because you know about the water. Now you know too, so watch your back. I was gonna retire in a couple of years anyway. Turns out it's a couple months. Wait. Theo and Cody are on their way. Sherman's not answering and Morgan's a maybe. He might make it here in time for dessert. Cozy little foursome. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that corn into the fire. Gray squirrel in the oven. Theo's favorite. You better say some for the brace. <laughs> Crazy couple of days we've had. Brutal. And here we are acting like it's a normal holiday weekend. God bless America. What is wrong with this country anymore? Is it just me, or have people gotten mean and selfish? Oh, I've noticed. Any word on those two sisters? How are they doing? As well as they can be. Their family's coming in to drive them home. Thanks to you. Not everyone was so lucky. The mother and child's dead. It's so sad. Can I tell you something, Nova? What's that? Women like you give me hope. I admire you so much. Me? You're kind, you're decent, you're honest. You're who I want to be someday. 
Have some more wine. <laughs> Loaded I'm girl. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. You're good at everything. Search and rescue, emergency medicine, settling down the unruly. You're not afraid and... No, I, I am afraid. You're afraid, but you don't let that stop you from doing what's right, from doing your job. You're the perfect ranger that everyone wants to be. Coming in, we've got a warrant. No, Theo, not today. <laughs> Good for you. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Picked them myself. Really? No. I'll get a vase. <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> you made this? Lemon meringue pie. You're by yourself? It's homemade, yeah. I uh, whipped up some egg whites, I uh, made the crust, and that lemon right there is brought to you fresh by my mother's garden. That is stunning. Yeah, it was uh, inspired by a Modigliani painting. That's where I came up with that little design. Cody Carson, you were just full of surprises. What, you just thought I was your average backwoods lawman? That's exactly what I thought. Now go get some wine. Oh, red or white? Um, white, please. You got it. Thank you. This is actually really good. I mean, it's close. Hey, you made it. We settled the budget. Hey. Park reopens in the morning. Right before Independence Day. What's the catch? Our esteemed legislature, in their infinite wisdom, cut the budget for all the state parks. It's crazy. We're already way underfunded. Don't I know it. So I've decided to retire. I'm getting too old for this. And there are other things I want to do while I still can. This way you all keep your jobs and none of our programs get slashed. Are you serious? Who's gonna replace you? You know I don't want the job. <laughs> we need you in the field. They'll find someone younger who'll cost them less. Someone with a degree in resource management. Someone like Nova Abbey. As a matter of fact, Nova has agreed to serve as acting superintendent until they do a formal search. Well, look who's full of surprises now. I appreciate your faith in me. And I have an announcement to make. Uh, oh my god, are you guys getting married? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. We've got a job in Colorado for the ski season. I'm so excited. I love the mountains. And of course, we'll be back next summer. Congrats. What's a bubbly? Me. Mm. Uh. I'll get some glasses. Hey, boss. Knock it off. I didn't get a chance to tell you. You're gonna do great. Leave me a little short-handed, but... Once we get past the high season, we'll get it sorted out. Okay, then. Okay, then. Thanks for saving my life, by the way. I owe you one. You saved mine. Let's call it even. in my office. Did he confess to the murders? He didn't kill him. He was in the hospital the whole time. Crashed his car, as you know. Broke his arm, six stitches in his forehead. After his release, he came back here to find him. I just gave him the bad news. Poor guy wept and wept for that baby. He's not a monster after all. But he is a hellhound on his trail. I judged him terribly. So where does this leave us now? Two unsolved murders? Not exactly. They did an autopsy on a mother and child. The baby drowned. Mother died from poisoning. Poisoning? They found aluminum, lead, and manganese concentrations in her blood four times higher than what they called deadly. She had some kind of autoimmune condition. They think she passed out and died overnight. She drank from the river. Looks that way. Jesus, why would anybody? Because we turned off the water and we locked the bathrooms on them. 
you two want to fill me in? Heavy metals from the frack sand mine. No will explain it all to you. Are we reopening the park today? Yeah, we're open. Water's okay for now. But we're not taking any chances. No swimming, fishing, and absolutely no drinking from it. Up those signs, scary ones though. Better get going. We have to get this story out. Yeah, I intend to. Never thought I'd end my career as a whistleblower. Let me. No, but you still have a job. Let's keep it that way. No, this land used to belong to the Sioux. But I'm not afraid of losing my job. Bloody hell, this is my job. I'm a park ranger. You are at that. Okay. Even the DNR won't have the guts to fire a hero. For your scrapbook. Thanks. Oh, well, before you go, he wants to talk to you. To me? So, so sorry for your loss. Wanted to tell you thanks for saving my life before. If I had been there, maybe I could have saved them. You can't think like that. River is poison. Yes. My girl and my baby are dead. You may be able to bring a case against the mine. They poisoned the water. A case? Involuntary manslaughter. <sighs> I'm an addict. <laughs> They're not going to listen to me. This has got to stop. Whatever you do to the water, you do to the animals, and you do to yourself. And it's breaking my heart because it's endangering the lives of our citizens. You're the ranger who caught the kidnapper. Can you tell us about that? It was a group effort, and thank goodness it ended well. Unfortunately, there's something much worse. A mother and her baby died in the park yesterday. Yesterday? And we have reason to believe it has to do with the heavy metals that the sand mine is dumping into our river. Did you just say what I think you said? Yes. I've contacted our congresswoman, who is also a part of the Ho-Chunk Nation, and asked for her to help us put an end to all of this because we all need to understand that when we destroy a magnificent natural resource, we are essentially killing mankind. What can people do about it? Pay attention. Organize. Protest. Vote. It's now or never.
Hi there. Hello. How are you doing? I'm better. Thank you. I ditched those other guys. You were right. They are all about hate and not love. I knew Hank was an asshole. I, there was just something about him. His eyes, his scent, maybe. <laughs> Next time, I'll let my brain do the thinking. And your heart. But what I wanted to tell you is I took that hike along the lake that you recommended. Oh my gosh, I felt like I was in church. Pretty, huh? Stunning. There was morning mist hey, rising off. I'm sorry, uh, there's a guy at the campsite next to us and uh, I mean, you gotta help. Wait, slow down, take a breath. Okay, so the guy at the campsite next to us and he's like bent over the grill and he's making breakfast, but he's, he's butt naked and he's built like a walrus. None of that should matter, but he is. And so, I mean, it's not a pretty sight and the kids are terrified. Look, I'll talk to him. Excuse me. 